Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will start the discussion about buttons. Buttons are interactive feature within Power BI and as the name suggests, it is a button which gives your application or your report a good feeling as well as you have a lot of flexibility what you can do with the button. For example, in this video, I will going to show you about the page navigation button which you can specify at the top of the page and move back and forth among multiple pages that you have. So we'll see what they are and how you can set up. And then in couple of more future videos like Power BI buttons with the bookmark, which I will do next, you will see how you can use the bookmark along with the buttons. So this you will see uh, first we in the first video, the page navigation button. But before I move ahead, just a quick information that this sheet where all the Power BI related tutorials are present, you can access it within the description here. You can search any particular tutorial that you are looking for and its respective link is present here so that you can jump directly onto it. Along with that, if you have, uh, if you want to search across my channel, what I have created is the Data Studio report. So Data Studio is a topic which I took up earlier and this is the report I created where you can come here in the video title, uh, uncheck this and search for any video. For example, you are looking for something related to Tableau. So you go ahead and search for Tableau and all of the Tableau related tutorial will be coming. You can just click over here and all the Tableau related tutorial will come over here in a couple of seconds. So this is a quick information I wanted to give if you are looking for any specific tutorial or all the tutorial for my video, you can get using these two links, which is data.studio.google for all the videos and this is spreadsheet for any specific uh, tutorial related to the Power BI. Okay, so now let me go ahead and uh, create the buttons. So the first buttons we will going to create at the book, uh, the page navigation button. All right, so here I am into the Power BI. And this is the report which I am using it from its cloud version. As you can see, I'm using app.powerbi.com. So what do I going, what will I do is uh, here at the top, I have buttons. Now you may be ac having the access to the Power BI desktop. In desktop also, the buttons are present from the menu bar, uh, which you can look. I think it is present in the design menu if I'm not wrong but you can look for the buttons option over there. So in the button, we have the left arrow and the right arrow. So left arrow looks for the previous page and right arrow looks for the next page. So as we are on the very first page, we will not be having any left arrow over here or it will not be doing anything since there is no page prior to opportunity overview. So what we are going to have is the right arrow. So I'll come over here on the buttons and click on the right arrow. Once the right arrow is present, what you are, what you are seeing that we have a lot of tech, a lot of properties that we can enable. So very first property, which I want to show you and useful is the action property. So I'll enable that. And on the action, you can see there are a couple of uh, options like back, bookmark, page and all that. So I will just keep this as it is because uh, this is something we will going to move forward to enable this. So I have enabled the action around that and uh, the next tab I will going to click is the detail. So in the detail tab, if you will see, I have uh, one button already created. So what I'll do is I'll just delete this and uh, come over here and remove it. And again, from the buttons, I will click on the left arrow. So nothing I've done, simply come here, buttons, and click on the left arrow. And down there in the action, I will enable the action and it will be back action, all right? So here, this you will see, move to the next page. This is something, move to the last page. So what you can do is you can even enable the text. So I have just selected this. Here, button text property is present. So if I'll just hide this and expand this little bit, you will see that button text 
enable the button text and what we can do is we can mention previous page okay and maybe we need to expand this little bit all right so now the previous page is coming which is helpful for the user all right uh, so now let's go into the reading view that means the view mode so we'll click on reading view reading view save this and it will take just a couple of seconds to give us the report all right so now i have it over here and uh, it was probably some network connection which i was facing issue so now i'm in a reading mode and if i click it over here i will move to the next report which is opportunity analysis and if i click it over here on this button i move to the previous page so this way you can have the buttons so now if you see along with the opportunity overview we have detail and if we go into the edit mode over here we have this tooltip which is not viewed but let's say we have one more tab and suppose we create one more chart for example we have region and uh, let's say we have the some value for example opportunity amount okay so page one so now if this is something i want to create one more button uh, because this is a middle page i can go back i can move forward so i'll come over here and click on the right arrow right and enable the action from here just enable the action that is it and uh, i can now again go into the reading view to save this and now i have it this so this time as you can see it did not take much time because now it's not facing those network issue so if i click over here it will show me the next page which is the new page i created so that's very quickly about how you can create the buttons it has the button has a lot of properties as you could see so for example this button if you remember we enabled the text but i guess we could not save it because of that network issue so we can write something like next page we can change its property like font color we can remove the padding alignment text size similarly if we want something like fill if we want to fill this then what color what we want so for example we want to keep it like gray similar to this one little bit dark clip gray probably yeah this one so now it looks like this button is part of the page so all of this formatting is something we can do but the most important point is this action which i wanted to let you know uh, along with that uh, all the other thing like if you want to give any title uh, or if uh, you want to give button text change the color also in the general you want to change the position manually then you can do that so that's very quickly about uh, how you can create the buttons and very specifically the left arrow and the right arrow and how they will configure. So if you will have the back button over here, it will not going to work because this is the first page. Similarly, for page one, if you have the forward button or this right arrow, it will not work because it does not have the next page. So keep in mind whenever you are designing it as to whether you are on the first page on the last page, but the middle page, like for example, detail can have both these buttons. So that's very quickly about button, how to configure them and what to consider uh, when you are configuring, configuring them and get the most output. So that's about it. And I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.